everybody. Long time no talk. Uh, I had actually filmed a vlog and then didn't publish it and then all this stuff happened so it's kind of irrelevant so I have to reshoot it. I have some new artwork for you. The first is my uh, 14 of the Cat piece. It is titled Wolf Moon. I have, I believe, three more Fortuna pieces left and that will conclude the 2012 calendar. Uh, we are actually going to be with a different publisher next year. I will be providing details about that as they become more available to me. Um, so let's check out Wolf Moon and I'll be right back. That again was Wolf Moon. The piece is available for purchase on my website, which is brand new, uh, www.ashevans.com. Same old address, brand new website. It has my uh, Facebook feed, and it's so much cleaner and more streamlined. This is the first site that I've designed on my own. Uh, so that's awesome. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's kind of reflecting the direction I would like to go with my artwork and stuff. So do check it out. FortunaTheCat.com is still being worked on, but it should be available soon also. So I'm very excited about that. Um, this week I have been working on a sculpture commission and I have him finished here. He's going to be mailed out on Wednesday. They wanted, um, they wanted a replica, like a sculptural replica of my night flight flying donkey. So I, I did him. He's actually a hanging ornament. He can't he can't stand up. Um, cuz I wanted his pose to be the same as in the picture and he's flying in the picture. So there he is. He's very cute. I'm really happy with him. He's actually one of the best sculptures I've ever done. So awesome. I have some commission slots open for sculptures still at www.ashethens.com if anyone's interested. I am now with uh, CDO. They have all of my Fortune of the Cat tubes, which is awesome. So all of you tubers out there, uh, I have tubes at CDO. I will put the link down there so you guys can see it. Um, right now they just have Fortuna stuff. I have two packages. This is the only way I allow digital manipulations of my artwork. It's the only legal way. It's heavily enforced, so please keep that in mind if you would like to work with my stuff for tags and tubes and signatures and all that stuff. That's the only legal way that I allow that. So do check out CDO, and they'll have some new packages from me coming soon. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I have some other stuff in the works. I have some good news for my UK people, which I'm really excited to share with you. I can't quite uh, spit it out there yet, but it's coming soon. Um, other than that, guys, this week I would like to finish my Golden Unicorn piece, which is a work in progress I have been working on in Painter X. I am learning a new program thanks to Bridget Ashwood, so that's awesome. So let me show you the progress. I hope to finish it this week, so check it out. That again is Golden Unicorn. I would like to finish it sometime this week. I was hoping to do it today, but realized that all of the settings that Bridget taught me aren't on my big computer, and I'm painting on my big computer right now. So I either have to call her, which I don't want to do right now because she just got back from Mythic Bear, or um, I guess take it apart in my other computer and see what it is. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so that's kind of what's on my agenda this week. I have decided I am only for right now doing four shows this year. Three of them are in May. I'm doing the Spoutwood Fairy Festival in Glen Rock, PA, which is the last weekend in April and the first day of May. I will be the next week doing the Green Belt Green Man Festival, which is in Green Belt, Maryland. And then the weekend after that, I will be doing the Maryland Fairy Festival, which is in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, at the Protection 4-H Center. Uh, and then in September I'll be doing Dragon Con. I am not doing Balticon this year. I did not do Mythic Bear. Uh, I know a lot of people were asking why I wasn't there. Uh, I wasn't invited. And um, I'm really just trying to limit my shows. 
I have so much to do uh, and so little time and I average 15 shows a year and I spend my entire summer on the road and it's really really stressful and uh, I've decided that I'm just I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I am not going to Anthrocon this year though I may mail in some art. I am not going to Kineticon. I am not doing a Magicon. Um, Pretty much, if it's a show that I didn't just say, unless I am being invited in a guest capacity or offered an offer I cannot refuse, I will not be attending this year. Uh, it's just too much, and I feel overworked and underappreciated, and I'm just kind of sick of it. So I'm not. I'm just not doing it uh, as much anymore. It's too much. I am going to be focusing on my career and uh, making awesome art for you guys. I am going to be focusing on a gallery show that I am kind of head in the works uh, and some other projects that I have that I've been putting off forever because I never have time. Um, so this year is about me making time for the things that are important instead of making excuses by distracting myself with show after show after show. I'm just um, tired of living in my van. I'm tired of living out of a suitcase. And uh, that's really all I have to say about it. It's just, it's very stressful and it's a lot of work. And while I love the shows, that I'm not going to, um, it's just not in the cards this year, uh, so that's that, uh, guys, I'm sorry if this is going to disappoint anybody, I know a lot of people are asking me about FairyCon, the short answer is I don't know, I don't know about FairyCon, FairyCon is in Baltimore, it is not a far away for me to go, uh, it is in November, we will see, so that's all I'm going to say about that, um, like I said, guys, I have licensing and all kinds of stuff in the works. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ryooki. <laughs> Ryooki loves me today, apparently. Um, I'm going to be making some sculptures for Spoutwood and Maryland Fairy Festival and everything. I have uh, some glass eyes and enough clay to make a few. So I will be doing those on a first-come, first-served basis at those shows, which I'm really excited about. I also have a show exclusive awesome thing that I'm not going to talk about because anytime I have a new idea it seems like everyone does it. So I'm not going to say it. I, you will see it first at Spoutwood and uh, hopefully that you like it. I will be doing a special image for a fragrance for Mystic Memories which is really exciting. I'm going to have my own signature scent kind of like um, Susan Lucci. For mine's called Unicorn Queen, which I'm quite excited about. And speaking of Mystic Memories, I worked with them on a project uh, earlier this year where I did some custom labels for them for a new concept. It is um, pet perfume. They're called Perfumes and Gurfumes. They are um, either for cats or dogs, depending on if it's a purr or a gur. And there are four different types, two for cats, two for dogs. And they are natural fragrances that are pet safe. I will show them to you now. They are available at Mystic Memories Etsy, which I will also put in the bottom bar. If you use the coupon code, which I will also put in the bottom bar, you get 15% off. So do check them out and let me know what you think about them. And let's get those together. I'll show you those. Alright, those are available from Mystic Memories. They are really awesome. I have samples of them and I've tried them on my cats and dogs and they don't mind them at all. Uh, so that's kind of awesome. And I guess that's it guys. I've crammed so much information into this video. I guess like next week my video is going to seem boring because I'll be like, oh here's this one thing I did as opposed to the big list of stuff that I did, you know, in the past couple weeks. Anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I will be talking to you again.